Bright shiny day in Texas when a single cow is in the pasture walking around. Nothing sounds better than some good old coastal hay on a nice sunny day. As you can see, the cow uses its large sandpaper-like tongue to pick up its hay. This is because the cow lacks upper incisors, but instead has an upper dental pad. This pad acts as its teeth, helping them tear and grind its hay. Once the cow has picked up its hay, it, become, it begins masticating or chewing on it. Unlike humans, the saliva in a cow doesn't help break down the food as much. Instead, the 20 to 35 gallons of saliva produced a day is used to help regulate the natural pH levels inside the cow's rumen. Nom, nom, nom. That was some good coastal. Before the hay is broken down in the rumen, the hay travels through the animal's esophagus. The esophagus acts as a tunnel or passageway in which the animal's rations travel from the mouth to its stomachs. That went down smooth. The stomach of a cow has four chambers, the rumen, reticulum, omasum, and abomasum. The rumen, or largest chamber of the cow's stomach, has the ability to turn roughage into protein through the microbial digestive system. This is the part of the cow that creates it to cause, creates and causes it to have gas. The reticulum, or second chamber in the stomach, has regular contractions that precede the bi biphasic ruminal contraction for digestion of food particles. The function of the reticulum is to remove waste and movement. Then it is regulated or pushed back up through its esophagus to be rechewed in order to increase surface area. The omasum, or bible, due to its page-like folds, is the third chamber in the cow's stomach. That primarily aids in the absorption of water, magnesium, and the voluntary fatty acids produced by the rumen fermentation that have not been absorbed into the bloodstream. Filtering large particles back into the reticular rumen and allowing fine particles and fluid to be passed into the abomasum. The abomasum, or true stomach, is the fourth chamber to the cow's stomach. It functions much like a human stomach by producing hydrochloric acid and some enzymes to help absorb proteins through the stomach's lining. Now, in the small intestine, the nutrients from the hay are being completely absorbed. Just like in the stomach, the small intestine has enzymes in it that help break down proteins. <laughs> Unlike the small intestine, the large intestine only absorbs water and vitamins. The rest of the roughage is then passed through the anus as fecal matter, thus fertilizing grass and creating a chain reaction. Moo. <laughs>